goodness, with face, pat, and tiz. What's up, guys? It's one third of the partners. It's your boy Tiz. Hope everybody's blessed and doing well, kings and queens. Um, this is just a little preview of what you can expect from this week's video clips and this week's podcast. Um, I may do a live um, in the next couple of days to talk about the topics that we covered on the podcast and open them up to the Pod Squad family. So please be on the lookout for that um, so you can come through in the chat or jump on the panel and have your views and thoughts heard as well. Um, I want to give a huge thank you and just immense amount of gratitude to all of the Pod Squad and for all of the well wishes and prayers for me and my family um, this week as we um, lost my first cousin Sunday. So just thank you guys. Um, your energy and love um, has definitely gone a long way to kind of help make this week tolerable. Um, so just thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we love you guys. Be on the lookout. Uh, we have our normal live this Sunday. Um, the Gemini Queens panel is still going to be held as soon as my mom feel like she's up to it. Um, so be on the lookout for that. But this Sunday, we're having our normal live stream. Video clips will be dropping and live stream should be dropping as well. Podcast drops tonight, Wednesday night at midnight on the dot. So be on the lookout for that. And um, thank you guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe if this is your first time. Um, hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our content when it drops. And just thank you guys for all the support and love. Um, it really means a lot to us. And on behalf of Pat and Face, the partners truly thank you. Love and enjoy this preview. This week on The Partners. Yeah, a lot of you I bet his parachute now. did work. No, it I bet, didn't. I bet it he didn't. ended up slamming like Wiley Coyote. Yeah, it was made out of like regular cloth and shit like that. It wasn't made out of like real parachute material. It was like it was back in the day when they were trying to figure out what to make in the model. Um, Nick Cannon had his seventh baby with a new baby mama. Um, mm. and it got me to thinking about like family dynamics and family structures in twenty twenty one, um, as opposed to family structures that were more socially accepted in in old times. Um, so I have some questions that I want to just pose to the group, kind of build on. And uh, the first one is, is it possible to be a great parent with so many kids not living with you full time? T-Pain is the most underrated musical artist out here that is alive. Um, and here are my criteria why. Tell me if I'm wrong and why I'm wrong. I want to discuss when personal values meet workplace values. Or should I say, when your personal ethics and morals meet a crossroad with your workplace ethics and morals. So my first question on the topic I posed to the group and to the, to the comments is, do your personal morals matter when you're at work and have to do a certain job? Example, firing or disciplinary actions. So oh, I think you all right. Oh, shit, man. It's time for the good in the fuckery. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Um, BET has been making their original movies lately or whatever. <laughs> so they're. <laughs> <laughs> So their fourth original movie that came out is called Karen. Karen. Like the like the white lady that called the cops on people? Yes. yes. <laughs> so pretty much. But mm-hmm. yeah, man. That that was pretty much my topic, man. I, I just needed the therapy session with the bros right quick. Hey man. Pretty-